Alright guys, so today we're going to be making a video on how I condition my baseball gloves before the baseball season. Coming up here I got softball starting up really soon, I'll be buying a new glove for that as you guys know the Chris Bryant. But um, yeah, so before I get into this I would just like to apologize for the lack of glove videos. It's just I don't have any ideas um, until the summer, well the spring, until the baseball fields or the batting cages open up when I can hit and you know make hitting videos every single day and fielding videos every single day and practice and game videos with my GoPro. But I don't have that right now. Um, so let me just show you what's going on. By the way, I started collecting watches. And I'm getting a new fossil watch uh, to alternate with this one with my work uh, uniform. And I'm super excited. I thought the Mall of America. Can't wait to get it. But like you can see, like today it's 50, almost 50 degrees. And I'd love to be out making videos, but there's snow covered everywhere. But, uh, you know, spring's coming. It's almost here. Obviously, 50 degrees in Minnesota. That means something, right? But the baseball fields have tons of snow on them. But, yeah, getting back over here. So, it's basically straightforward. The first thing I do is I go over the gloves with just a dry towel just to lightly pick up. Like, I'll go over them and stuff, like, to pick up any dust that's just on the surface. Like, you know, because it doesn't do any good to rub oil onto dust so clean off the glove first and then next what you want to do is you want to take whatever glove conditioner you have my favorite choice is Nakona for sure you can get this at Shields or I guess anywhere like that sells conditioner and then there's Champro glove oil I like this stuff a lot too if you want to if you want to get like a like a palm stain definitely use this one I know a lot of people actually like the palm stain and I do too it just looks cool and then uh, the glove conditioner here from Wilson is pretty good. I also had uh, Primo um, glove conditioner from Rawlings or Primo glove butter or whatever, but that stuff was garbage. So I don't recommend that. Those are the three. Those I mainly recommend this one, but uh, these three I do um, definitely all recommend. So uh, for this demonstration, this one's empty. I used it all. I got this all the way back when I got my Nakona. If you guys remember that, if you're OG, when I got my Nakona glove. My very first, you know, my very first cool glove, but, um, should have never traded that, but I did. And uh, this one I got recently, haven't used it much to give too much of an opinion, but this is my third bottle of this one, and I like it a lot. But this one lasted me a long time, and I really like it, so this is my favorite, but I'm all out. So for today, we'll be using that one. So, as you can see, my Pro Preferred can definitely use some conditioning. It's old, hasn't been conditioned in probably a year. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on the lining of the glove and the back of the glove because I've conditioned the inside of it or the palm and stuff a lot, as you can see. And uh, it's not too dry in there, believe it or not, even though that's where the usage is. Um, it's actually pretty dry on the outside. But I will be doing the whole glove. I only recommend you do the whole glove like two times in its life. I mean, unless it's really taking a beating. I don't recommend you do the outside much, but you know maybe the end of every season or the beginning but um yeah and i'm also be doing this one here i'm not really gonna be working on getting any color back in this one i'm just gonna be conditioning it up because it because the palm where that stain is is a little bit dry and also where the finger spot is there from the previous owner is also pretty dry and then uh, the dat dude that the outside i did that at the end of last season but i'm gonna do the palm of this one because you can see it's pretty light in there and it does feel pretty dry so I just want to get these gloves ready for any use they may get this year because I'm getting the Chris Bryant like I said and that will be my gamer but I always go back to this glove for softball at second base and I always go back to this for playing catch with baseballs and hitting every day and uh, I just got this one but yeah you guys get the point um, there's a couple other gloves I will be picking up here but um, so yeah let's get without any more further ado let's get into this um, so yeah I don't, <laughs> I'm not going to make any cuts in this, I don't think. Maybe one or two. But I don't know where to set up the camera at. But, um, I got an idea. Alright. What we're going to do, I'm not even going to cut this out. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. I'll take my chair. That's missing a wheel. Right there. We're going to set it up. Right there. And I actually have... I'm using my actual camera right now, which uh, quality seems to be pretty decent. This tripod's kind of hard to get in the best position, but um, yeah. So that looks like it's pretty good. What do you guys think? You got my car poster and my Focus RS I drew. 
Yeah, I actually drew that. I was trying to copy a picture of it, and then... Yeah, I, was trying, okay, I was trying to copy a picture, and then I got to a point where I realized it was too big for the page, so I just kind of went with it anyways. And it actually turned out pretty cool. But... Yeah, I love to draw. Hopefully, maybe I'll show you guys some drawings here soon. I'll probably draw some baseball players or something like that. But uh, yeah, so let's it's gonna try to break the back of this leg a little bit here. Not actually break it, but yeah. So we're gonna put it like that. Um, see my girlfriend's teddy bear over there. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna put it just like that. I don't want too much of me in it, but oh, whatever. <sighs> so basically we're gonna move these two out of the way. We're gonna demonstrate with this one. I'm actually gonna do those off camera probably. But, um, yeah, I'm going to kneel down here. Hopefully you can't see my face. You probably can. But, um, yeah, so I already got this glove wiped off. But I'm just going to, just basically with a dry rag, you just, like, make sure you get, the, like, the dirt off the surface off the glove. Like, it's just, believe it or not, it, it picks it up. You can see it on the, well, you can, but you see it on the towel. Uh, my patch is coming off, but we'll fix that here. So basically what you do is take this, basically you just put it, what I do is I want this. Ironically enough, for my car channel, I'm going out to make it how to clean the windows properly after this video. So go check out that, GT Productions. But I want it like this, so it's a nice like pad. And what you do is you just put some in the middle of it. You can see that, right? Yeah, it looks kind of like dog piss. but. <laughs> Um, just kind of rub it in and then make sure you put it just like right in the palm at first at least this is how I do it this may not be the right way to do it but it's how I do it my gloves last me a long time and it's four years right here but um they make like sponges and pads you can use for this too but this works really good and you can already see all the dirt I'm picking up make sure you get the top of the fingers too that's where it gets a ton of wear the binding the lacing for sure on the top and then the inner web of course well, so yeah basically I mean you just do that rub it in nice and good that's the inside glove it will dry for sure it might darken the glove a little bit if it's a lighter leather glove but um it will come back so yeah. now we're gonna move to the outside of the glove we're gonna flip it so we're not rubbing this I realize that could stain a white towel, but this is an older one anyways. And I'll buy a new one if it does for my mom. And then we're going to do the lining now. It's a little bit harder to get in there. I recommend undoing the wrist strap, but I'm not going to do that. And then um, just work it, because mine's cracking a lot. Get the binding for sure, that's where it cracks right here the most. Your finger pad. And then you just kind of want to work the outside. Like I said, you don't want to do the outside of your glove very much in its life because it'll make it flimsy. Uh, that's probably my second or third time I've done it in this thing's life, and I've had it for four years in April, so basically four years. Um, don't do it too heavy on the outside. A little bit is, is plenty, but if you need some, take it from the palm because, like, I did a lot in there. But yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Just get all the wearing points, you know, the bottom of the glove, the binding, the finger pad, the lining, the web, the top of the fingers, the palm, inner web, you know, straightforward stuff. So, I'm going to put that there. And then always let the glove dry, because otherwise it doesn't do any good if you go use it right away. The dirt just sticks to it and just snowballs. So now I'm going to work on this one here. I'm going to give you a look of it here. And I'll come back to you guys in a minute here, but let's show you the Pro Preferred. So Pro Preferred now has very dark in there. See the outside looks a little bit more stained. It actually looks pretty good in my opinion. Finger pad's nice and oiled up. The binding's very good. You see it's nice and shiny and dark in there. All the wear points are good. That's all I do. If I ever put it down like this, I keep a ball in the pocket, but I keep my good ones standing up over there. Just like that. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hit this one here, and I'll show you guys. I'm, I don't think I'm actually gonna do the dat, dude, because I was feeling it, and I think it's fine. So I mean, probably not gonna hit that yet. So yeah, do this one, and I'll come right back. 
Thanks, guys. All right, so the G5 is done here. You can see the inside got a little darker there. Uh, it really darkened where the dirt was. But, um, you know, this glove looks really good, I think. Actually, exactly how it is. I'd like it not to dry, but it's going to it's gonna get back to lighter. But, uh, yeah, I definitely, I worked on hitting in here so it doesn't crack because it's not cracking on the lining anywhere, just the binding in a couple small spots. But, um, yeah, and I just lightly, lightly hit out here because I don't think it's ever been hit out here. It was pretty dry. So, yeah, that's the way I do it for my baseball gloves here. Um, that's just the after product. Pro Preferred looks stunning, I think, like that. But, um, yeah, so those are the products. The That's all you need. I mean, I recommend undoing the wrist strap to get in there very well. But um, I didn't want to do that. I was lazy, and that's fine. So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Let me know what kind of glove videos you want right now with the gloves that I do have over here in the meantime until I get the Chris Bryant here in two weeks. Those are the gloves I do have. Uh, the Wilson on the bottom is the CK22. And I got these three. I'll do any video you guys want, even if I've already made it recently even, just to get a video out there. So yeah, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.